GTI, San Jacinto, on the way to Idlewild, take one. All right, here we are, the Volkswagen GTI. This is a 2017, so Mark 7. Um, I have owned this car for now one year and a couple months. I bought it October of 17. It is now December of 18, uh, so it's almost 2019. Um, so after a year, 25,319 miles, and uh, it's been a great car. Uh, I had a Focus ST before this, a 2016, and um, biggest differences between that car and this car, Focus ST had more power, was noticeably faster. This car though, I would say more refined, and you can tell, uh, obviously, you know, they've been doing this a long time, Volkswagen, the whole hot, hot hatchback uh, thing. The, um, you know, this is the 911 of hot hatchbacks. This is the one that we, we base all the other hot hatchbacks on. We, we use this as the measurement, the bar. Um, and you can tell why when you drive it. It's just the steering, um, in, in the Focus, I was fighting the steering a lot. Uh, has a lot of torque, but a lot of torque steer. I think the torque in the ST comes in really early in the RPM range. This one, you've gotta drag it out a little bit. Um, fun thing about that is, this, this is the SC trim level. So it has the red GDI patches, it has the R brakes, it has 220 horsepower. Um, you got you to gotta really wind it out to get that, that power out of it, to get in its power, the chunk of its power band, the meat of that power band. Uh, I would say third gear in this car is where it just likes to, on a windy road, kind of like this, uh, it's where it likes to sing. Uh, not only am I showcasing also the GTI on this road, but I want to showcase this road. This road is the 74 coming out of Hemet, up into Mount San Jacinto, the San Bernardino National Forest, uh, goes to Mountain Center in Idlewild. Um, it's a really cool road. It has parts of it, uh, multiple changes of direction, uh, lots of fast sweepers, um, and I think one of the things that the this chassis, the GTI chassis, is really good at doing is multiple changes of direction and staying, and, and to me, that's a sign of a very well-balanced car, um, like a 911 or uh, the GTI. And I think that's the thing. I think where, where the ST doesn't shine is that it becomes a little bit of a one-trick pony because it has that power. Great chassis, though, under it, but you can tell they haven't been doing it as long as Volkswagen. I mean, since the 80s, they've had the hot... Now, Ford has had a lot of hot hatchbacks. Um, you know, they've had some other STs. They've had other uh, Focus RSs uh, that we haven't gotten in the United States. Um, but, you know, Volks... It's it just, I think Volkswagen's... You can tell their focus has been on it. Uh, no pun intended. Um, I think that that's just what you get when you focus on doing something like that. When you put that as your priority, you know, and not uh, trucks and Mustangs and the vans and, and the other things that Ford has, um, this is what you get. It's just, it's just like Porsche with the 911. I would, I would say the two, you could almost put, you know, a GTI as the budget 911 in, in, in some instances in, in terms of a, a well-rounded car. Um, obviously not, not rear wheel drive, um, you know, the GTI or rear engine, but in terms of what the priorities of the car are, it's to be very well rounded. It's to, uh, be a, a good car in many different ways rather than just have a lot of power or, uh, just be fun all the time. You know, this car, when you go to drive it on just around in the city and you don't want it to be a performance car uh, or any sort of sport-like car, it does a very good job at that too. And I think that's another thing, um, that it's, it's hard to do that uh, because when you start making things sporty, you start compromising. Um, or you start making things for the track, you start compromising. Look at it, you know, the 
911 GT3 or a GT350 Mustang. They uh, will become very compromised at some point um, because of excuse me I have to uh... so this is the fun section of the road here had to pass that guy here to really showcase how good this car will be this car has the limited slip um, but you can see this is a snaky part of the road lots of changes of direction uh, up and down in elevation too it's not just flat on the ground so you're getting a little bit of banking in these turns they're they're on camber um, which so you can kind of lean into them you can carry a little bit more speed than you would if they were flat um, so that's one of the fun things about the road and this is almost coming to the end of it this lack session is kind of fun and it ends at a little gas station, little market, and there's a restaurant near that are kind of nice. And you can hear in this engine, you know, when you wind it out, that's where the good sound of the motor is. I would say in the Focus ST, I'm making a lot of uh, comparisons to the Focus ST because I owned one. I got a lot of experience in one uh, and I really enjoyed it. So when I bought this car, um, I was going to make a lot of comparisons to it. And you, um, the Focus sounds good even at the low RPMs. I don't think this engine sounds that good at low RPMs. I think you've got to get it, you know, where the variable valve timing is kicking in and then all of a sudden the engine noise sounds good, um, which I, I think another maybe con to this. Now, what are the, some of the cons of this car? Uh, the number one thing that has annoyed me the most about this car is this, the cover for the sunroof. It slides back. When you start driving, it must vibrate and slide back. It doesn't have any way to lock itself in. Um, now, design-wise, what could you do to change that? Uh, Volkswagen, uh, maybe put some magnets. Magnets work great for stuff like that. It'll hold it shut. That is the one thing that's annoying me most. The other thing is that it, this whole thing kind of annoys me because you can. it's very easy to see through, so you don't get the same amount of protection from UV rays or anything, like if it were solid. Um, so that's annoyed me. Uh, let's see, the other thing that's annoyed me, there was one other thing that annoyed me, and now I can't remember. Um, pretty much that's the number one thing that's annoyed me the most. So, uh, yeah. Other than that though, we'll do a little, little recap here. Uh, Great shifter, great shifter feel, very crisp. Uh, it's fun to shift gears in this car. Um, engine power, good, adequate. It's not overpowered. When uh, I drive a Focus, I had both the Focus and this at the same time. When you would get in the Focus, noticeably quick, noticeably more power. Um, that would be the only other thing. Um, other than that, I don't really know. Uh, there's not really too much that annoys me. I like how everything's laid up. The seats are very comfortable. Um, I've heard some people say the seats are kind of hard, uh, but they're German, and that tends to be that way. So to me, it's just something I expected. It's, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. I don't need a cushy seat. Um, oh, the other thing that's annoyed me. It seemed like the Focus made very little brake dust, and this car makes a lot of brake dust. So you're always, either your wheels are always looking very dirty uh, or you're always cleaning the wheels. So that, that's the other thing. Uh, but other than that, those, those are the two things that have annoyed me the most. Uh, fuel mileage wise, this car, if you're looking for a performance car that can do a lot and be very economical, I can get 40 miles per gallon in this car, six speed, in six gear, going 80 on the freeway. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going 80 on the freeway, breaking the speed limit, but in Utah where it's legal, 40 miles per gallon, easy. Uh, of course, going up and down hills here, you're gonna sacrifice some of that. But uh, I would say an average is like 37, 38, which is pretty good. Uh, Focus was like 30. So just another comparison there. Um, like I said though, both good cars. I, bo I, I don't think if you got one or the other, I was very happy with both. This car just feel, I feel like I've gotten more for my money with this car. 
I feel like my money have, has gone. There's more l luxury feel to this car um, than there was with the Focus. But other than that, yeah, both very good cars. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, but yeah, check out this road. It's the 74. It's a great road. It's a nice little section. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Watch more of the videos. And I'm going to try to... I'm going to make an effort to put out more videos. I don't think I put out enough videos. So yeah, thanks. See you next time. Just when you think you're going to get a clean break. Uh, I'm going to pass it.